As you can tell by my insanely overpowered armor and my god set of tools and my insane amount of wealth, I'm broke. And just for the record, I wouldn't be near this broke right now if somebody didn't steal my iron and my diamonds in the first episode. Mark my words, I will find you and I will get my revenge. Anyways, today we're going to be taking the first step in becoming the most overpowered player on the server by building a villager trading hall. And I actually have a really cool idea for how I want to build this, so make sure you stick to the end to see the finished result. First things first, I got to get my hands on a couple of villagers and set up a villager breeder. And I know there's a village about 600 blocks that way, but the problem is I definitely don't have enough iron to be able to build rails and a minecart that goes all the way over there. So I I think I'm gonna have to use this. That's right, a boat. I'm also gonna need a piston as well as a lever to be able to raise the boat up a level in case I need to actually go up. Here's to hoping this goes smoothly. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to our first villager. Oh my God, this is so much slower than I remember it being. Oh, I see the cherry biome. I believe in you, buddy. Come up the block. Yes, keep coming up. Yes, yes. Why is this working so well? You know what? I like you. I'm gonna name you Tom. Dang it, Tom. No, Tom, Tom, come on. Up, up the hill and back in the boat you go. Ooh, it's right there. We're so close. Oh my, we actually did it. Hold on. Let's put these fences down and let's get old Tom out of his boat. And he's now finally... Uh, Okay, well, I make yourself at home, I guess. Now I'm realizing I have to do that all over again. And who's gonna be the lucky gal? Come here. Uh, uh, Nancy? Yeah, so I'm gonna call you Nancy. Get in the boat, Nancy. Uh -huh. Oh my god. No, 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 no! <gasps> I'm so sorry I hurt you. I had to defend you. You have to understand. I had to protect you. All right, Nancy. Let's see if you got the same inclination that Tom had to go up the hill. God dang it, Nancy. No, stop. Nancy, stop. Nancy, you are so much more difficult than Tom was. Wait, 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 wait. I'm an idiot. I have one of these. Can I lure her with this? Yes. I'm so smart. Wait, 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 Nancy. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Come up here. Oh, my God. I'm so smart. And finally, we have two villagers. It, it definitely did not take me two hours. But look at them. Already staring longingly into each other's eyes. But now that we have our two lovers, we can set up the villager breeder. And because I'm really bad with villagers, I'm gonna be using a really simple design by Logical Geek Boy. If you wanna check out his step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build this, the link will be down in the description. But here's the list of resources that we need to gather for this thing, so let's go ahead and get those. All right, and that should be everything we need. Um. Now I just gotta figure out where to build it. My plan is to build the actual trading hall right around here. So I think maybe somewhere close by, but out of the way, like back here might be a good spot. In fact, yep, that's what I'm gonna do. This is pretty much the main holding area where Tom and Nancy are gonna be staying. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put them in here. That way I don't have to hassle with getting them in here when the rest of the farm is built. All right, Nancy, let's get you in there first because you are the farmer gal. Oh, old Tom made a break for it. So sorry about you, buddy. Now the tricky part's gonna be getting her up here. I hope she just sees the composter and path finds her way up there naturally go nancy go your life of farming oh wait can you not get up the is it because of this trap door oh it's because of that trap door okay yes we have our farmer villager all right with old nancy in there successfully farming away let's go get tom and i think i'm gonna just try the same exact trick that i did with nancy but with tom so i'm gonna place down a composter for him to path find to and uh, go to the composter. Tom, go to the composter. Oh, Nancy! Nancy, no! Where are you going? Oh my god! Stop! Uh, hello? Bro just walked over the boat! This is why nobody likes your kind, Tom. Okay, so for Nancy, I think I can just break this composter. And she wants to work. She's not lazy like Tom. So if I place that down and break this boat again, you should go get a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Now you, we're gonna have to do you a little bit differently. I'm gonna break this staircase and I'm gonna build a new one that goes all the way up to the top. I might be able to use a bed for Tom. 
now that it's nighttime. If I just place this bed here, for example, will you want to sleep because it's nighttime? Do you want to go to the... Where are you going? He's gonna get eaten by a zombie. Tom, why are you going all the way back over here? What is wrong with you? Oh my God, now it's nighttime. Hold on, I gotta sleep real quick. Try and make it daytime. I guess I'm gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Oh my God, finally. All right, so that section is done. And I also added a little canopy up there just to protect the villagers from lightning because I don't want them turning to witches. That would suck. And now I just need to create a funnel that'll take all the baby villagers and take them to an area for them to grow up. Is that baby making that I see? Come on, make love. Make love, you know you want to. Do it, do it. Come on, Tom, sow your wild oats, dang it. Sow them. Make love, make love. Are they nervous because I'm watching them? Do villagers work like that? Look, shh, I'm not watching. See, I'm not even here. I'm not even looking. Just minding my own business over here. La da 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 da. Oh, oh. Do it, dang it. Okay, someone over here is a tease and I need you to give it up. I'm gonna try to just give them a little bit of privacy and uh, and see if anything happens. <gasps> we have a baby! Yes, it works! Oh my God, that is so good to see. I was getting so worried that this wasn't actually working. Oh, that makes me so happy. So while we're waiting on him to grow up, I'll go ahead and create the collection system and then we'll get started on the trader hall. All right, so this is all set up and ready to go. All we gotta do now is wait for these baby villagers to grow up into adults and we can go ahead and get started on this trading hall. To think for the trader hall, I'm gonna be going for something pretty similar to the house that I have currently just so that it kind of fits in with like the overall theme that I have going on in here. So the three main blocks we're gonna need are spruce wood, white concrete, and deep slate. But sadly, my ax is about to break and these are the last three pieces of iron that I have. I literally don't have another single piece. I don't even think I have raw iron anywhere in any of my chests. I mean, I literally don't have another single piece of iron. So I really gotta start an iron farm soon, but that sounds like a problem for future me to fix. So for now, let's just get the resources we need for the trading hall. Last thing I need to get for this build is mangrove wood. Thankfully, I got some of these proper ghouls. Proper, however you say that. I got some of them earlier on in my adventure to find the cherry blossom. So all I got to do is plant these and chop down some wood. I always forget how much of a pain in the butt it is to get mangrove wood. So hopefully that's enough. And if not, then I'll just worry about it later. Okay, and so that's a good majority of the first bit of it done. Uh, but now I feel like this is a good point to start getting the villagers in here because they're gonna have to go behind each one of these trap doors. And now with all of the rails in place, I should theoretically be able to hit this button, have a villager ride all the way over to that first slot and just drop right in. So far, so good. Come on, okay, first powered rail, okay. Now we're moving, now we're moving. And yes, yes. Oh, okay, he should be stuck. I don't think he can actually move from where he's at. Yes, yes. Oh my God, we have our first villager in our stall. That that feels so good. That feels so good. That wasn't that bad either. Hopefully I should be able to just run this rail to all these different slots and just ride them right on in just like that. Gotcha, yes, yes. No, no, no. God, stop, stop. Where are you going? Why are you going over there? There's a job for you right here. Get in, get in. Oh my God, you were difficult. Please, no. Why, stop. I think that's the last adult villager that's up there for right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and build the rest of the trading hall. And then I'm sure by the time we get that finished, then we should have enough villagers to be able to fill in the last remaining six jobs. And that pretty much does it for the roof. The only thing that I have left to fill in are the side part of these walls, but I'm kind of an idiot. And I turned all of my spruce logs into planks. So I, I don't have like, three spruce logs to go all the way up to the ceiling, which sucks. But I am really happy with the way that the roof turned out. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe. It will help me out a ton. And, and I see one of my viewers 
back behind me, trying to sneak up on me. I see you. I don't think you're sneaky.